Hello everyone. This is lecture number three uh, from Environmental Engineering two. In this lecture, we will cover construction of sewers. Now coming to the uh, lecture. Here, uh, related to the construction of sewer, we need to study the following topics like materials of sewers, shape of sewers, joint of sewers, laying and testing of sewers, cleaning and maintenance of sewers. So in this construction of sewers, we will study uh, this following topics. Now. Uh, um, we will come to these topics one by one. Now, uh, first one is the materials of sewers. Uh, while making the selection of materials of sewers, we need to carefully consider the cost, durability, uh, imperviousness, resistance to ab absorption, uh, resistance to corrosion, strength of uh, strength, strength and weight of that materials. Now. <clears throat> Following at the various materials which are used for sewers, like uh, uh, here we have asbestos cement sewers, brick sewers, cast iron sewers, cement concrete sewers, plastic sewers, steel sewers, uh, stoneware sewers, and wood sewers. Now, di this uh, different materials uh, uh, by which uh, we generally uh, construct the sewer pipes. Now, these different materials have its own advantages and disadvantages. So, based on the advantages and disadvantages of these materials, we chose these materials in the field. Now, in the field, basically, we uh, largely considered the brick sewers, cast iron sewers, cement concrete sewers, and the steel sewers. So, based on the uh, economic e economy, like cost, the durability of the material, re, uh, res resistivity to its uh, corrosion, strength and uh, the weight of that material, we, uh, we chose uh, this material for the particular purpose or particular field condition. Now coming to the shape of the sewer. Now uh, generally uh, we have uh, two uh, sections. One is circular section, sewer pipe and another is non-circular section, sewer pipe. Generally, the sewer of circular shapes are adopted in the field. So, uh, this have uh, the following reason. Uh, we can uh, we can see uh, this uh, from this uh, slide. And uh, in the circular section, generally we adopt the circular section because this um, circular section afford less perimeter. Now, if we consider uh, a non-circular section uh, and a circular section. Uh, if you take a square pipe, square uh, sewer pipe and a circular sewer pipe of 4 meter square cross section, then uh, we will observe that the square section uh, have the perimeter of 8, um, eight meter and uh, the circular section have the perimeter of 7.09 meter. So from this example, it is proved that uh, this uh, circular uh, sections are cheaper and economical and the circular sections uh, in the circular section uh, there there is no corner and uh, that is why uh, the chance of deposition of organic matter is less in case of circular section and the circular sections are easy to construct and uh, and th these are the uh, various reasons uh, for which uh, we generally consider circular section in in uh, in maximum practical cases now uh, in some cases we uh, go for the non circular section we chose the non circular section so following at the reason uh, for why we will uh, go with a non circular section in some particular cases now uh, we can observe it uh, from the slide that in uh, case of non circular section uh, to improve the velocity of flow we generally uh, add up uh, the non-circular section and uh, to make them uh, large enough uh, to enter a man in the sewer pipe for cleaning we, uh, we, uh, we generally consider this non-circular section and uh, um, for a more uh, um, structural strength uh, to secure more structural strength we generally consider the non-circular section. So these are the individual reason for uh, what we will consider the circular section and non-circular section. Coming to the non-circular sections, 
the, this non circular sections are uh, maybe different uh, size and shapes uh, it may come with different size and shape and uh, generally we use uh, some particular uh, sh um, uh, size and shapes of uh, non circular section i'm coming to that one by one first one is a uh, bucket handle section in this type of uh, sewer the upper portion of the sewer pipes uh, got the shape of the bucket handle that's why it's called the bucket uh, handle section and uh, presently this uh, shape, shape of a sewer uh, pipes are uh, generally not used uh, uh, in this present days now coming to the second um, non circular section that is x section and these sections generally uh, are used widely in the present days uh, according to the condition this type of sewer is uh, suitable for carrying combined flow the main advantage of this type of sewer is that it gives a slightly higher velocity compared uh, velocity during the low flow uh, compared to the circular section and uh, however this uh, construction of the section is little bit more difficult but um, uh, but in some particular cases uh, it is uh, it gives uh, more advantage uh, than the circular section now coming to the next uh, non circular section that is horse show uh, section and uh, such as, uh, and this section uh, is suitable when the available headroom for the construction of sewer is limited and we can observe this horse show uh, section uh, from this slide um, and coming to the parabolic section and uh, this uh, parabolic section of sewer uh, is suitable for carrying a comparatively uh, comparatively small quantity of sewage we can observe the figure of this parabolic section uh, from the slide now coming to the um, next non circular section uh, that is a rectangular section and this section is the most stable section uh, sometime um, it is used as a storage tank now coming to the semicircular section and the semicircular uh, section gives a wide base at the bottom and hence it becomes suitable for constructing large sewer with less available headroom and we can observe uh, the figure of the semicircular section from this slide now coming to the next section uh, that is a uh, semi elliptical section the semi -ellipt this semi elliptical section we generally used uh, where um, the soil the the soil is soft uh, in this in this condition we generally use the semi elliptical section and coming to the u shape u shape section the u shape section uh, generally um, are adopted for uh, the open sewer uh, section and this uh, open uh, um, open cut uh, and uh, this uh, this u shape sections uh, are uh, easy to construct in u cut i told you earlier that x shape sections are more important uh, among the sections what i have discussed earlier in the previous slides so so uh, this x shape section what i uh, told you that this uh, type of section is suitable for carrying the combined flow and uh, during uh, during the low flow it gives a higher velocity compared to the circular section so in uh, this uh, although this section the construction of this section is little bit uh, difficult but uh, uh, the advantages of this sections are also uh, pretty much uh, pretty much higher uh, compared to the circular section now x shape section this sections uh, formed by uh, placing a two imaginary circle one upon an another here you can see from uh, from the slide that uh, the bottom circle uh, having uh, radius r and the upper uh, imaginary circle uh, having the radius 2r and this uh, standard x shape sections are not so much stable Mm, and uh, mm, that is why uh, we generally consider this inverted x shape section and uh, this inverted x shape se sections can be used for uh, construction of large sewers with heavy discharge now coming to the joint in sewers generally we use a cement mortar joint uh, collar joint a flexible or bituminous joint 
mechanical joints and open joints now i'm coming to uh, this joints one by one first one is cement mortar joint figure number one represents the uh, cement mortar joint here we can see uh, the cement mortar are used uh, as a filler material between the uh, the bell end and uh, the spigoid end um, so as uh, cement mortar serves use in this um, joint that's why it's called a cement mortar joint now coming to the next joint that is a uh, collar joint um, figure number two represent the collar joint in this joint a uh, slightly bigger diameter or uh, bigger diameter ring is placed um, over the uh, two ends of the uh, sewer pipe and uh, and the space the annular space between the collar and end of sewer is then filled with cement mortar um, uh, with proportion one is to one now coming to the flexible or bituminous joint and uh, and this joint bitumen is used as a filler material um, in in place of in place of a cement mortar this flexible or bituminous joint give more flexibility compared to the cement mortar joint now coming to the mechanical joint figure number 3 represent the mechanical joint now uh, this mechanical uh, some mechanical device in mechanical joint in this mechanical joint some mechanical device uh, like uh, flanged ring nut and bolts are used to uh, uh, to uh, make the joint uh, between two end of the Mm, sewer pipe now mm, this uh, now uh, now this this uh, such type of joint is generally used for uh, metallic sewer such as uh, cast iron steel etc now coming to the open joint this type of joint uh, the end of sewer are placed to, uh, together and in this case no filler material are used to uh, make the joint uh, between two and ends of the sewer pipe now coming to the uh, requirements of good sewer joint a good sewer joint is very important it should maintain some criteria like it should uh, it should be such that the tree root cannot penetrate through it it should be capable of resisting the effect of acidic alkaline action it should be cheap and economical it should be easy to construct it should be flexible in nature so that it is not damaged due to slight settlement of sewer line it should be weathering so that infiltration of groundwater and the exfiltration of sewage are prevented now coming to the testing of sewage line um the testing of sewage line is very important to identify the leakage in sewer line uh, the testing of uh, sewage line is conducted uh, the testing of water tightness of joint is then uh, is then carried out by considering two manhole one is upper hand manhole and another is lower hand manhole the length of the sewer uh, sewer line between two manhole are uh, measured and uh, the lower end of sewer line is provided with a plunge uh, as shown in the figure in the slide now this upper end manhole is filled with uh, water up to a certain level and uh, it is observed with, with the passing of time whether the level of the water in the upper hand manhole uh, whether uh, it decreases uh, or increase or it uh, remain the same if it uh, remain the same then it uh, indicate that there is no leakage in the sewer line if it uh, decreases then it indicate there is the there there there, there is uh, there have any exfiltration of uh, uh, the sewer from the from the sewer line and if, uh, uh, if the water level get increase then it indicate there they have infiltration of uh, water in sewer line so this test is very important to test uh, sewer line whether there have any leakage or not now coming to the cleaning and maintenance of a sewer line the cleaning of sewer line are very essential 
we have uh, several causes for uh, which we need to clean or we need a regular inspection or periodical repair of sewer line. When in case of a breaking of any sewer line, we require uh, uh, the cleaning and inspection and maintenance of that sewer line. When there is any clogging in sewer line or, uh, or if, uh, the, if any bad order is coming out from the sewer line, it is uh, very essential uh, to uh, repair or clean the sewer line. Now coming to the method of cleaning and maintenance of sewer line, so there are several methods by which uh, we generally uh, maintain the uh, maintain the sewer line. We uh, clean the sewer line. Sewer line. Now, in case of uh, large sewer, this uh, cleaning, uh, inspection, and uh, this periodical repair conducted uh, manually. And in case of a small sewer, sewer line, we generally uh, flush the sewer line to uh, clean it up and uh, we generally um, check the sewer line whether, uh, if, uh, if whether there have any leakage or not uh, by free flowing of uh, sewers, uh, sewages uh, between adjacent uh, manholes. So by these methods, uh, we generally uh, we generally can take care uh, the sewer lines, um, whether there have any leakage, whether there, there have have any uh, breakdown in the sewer line, uh, or if uh, if uh, there there need any uh, repair work. Uh, so so this is the uh, so these are the causes and the method of cleaning and maintenance of sewer line. Uh, that we have to uh, take care of and uh, that is uh, uh, all about this lecture. Thank you.